In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a really great quick pass against man that you can use. Um, this will also have some concepts in it for zone, uh, but I really like this play specifically for man, the current man meta. And um, yeah, real, real simple play here. So the play is going to be curl flat out of U-trips. And if you wanna get my full U-trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. My Patreon membership is just $10 If to sign up for it. If you wanna get signed up, the link to sign up is in the description. And by becoming a member, you're gonna get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. We have 13 eBooks in the Patreon as of today, and we're adding more every single week. And we also are updating all of our old stuff with new stuff uh, as necessary and as needed. So make sure that you're in the Patreon if you wanna sign up. Again, the link is in the description. But the play we're gonna be taking a look at today is Curl Flats. I'm in New England Patriots, Playbook, Gun, Y Off, Trips, Pads. This is also known as U Trips. I'm gonna show you a really effective concept. So this is really good for man-to-man. -man. And the reason why is because this flat route to the tight end is one of the best flat routes in the game. So what we're gonna do here, I just wanna show you one simple thing, is we are going to basically throw this flat route. We're gonna high point and pass lead outside. And what you'll see when we high ball is if I just throw this like normal, you're gonna see that he's gonna turn around like that in order to prevent him from doing that. Because when he does that, it turns this flat route into a one yard gain as opposed to a five yard gain. We're going to high point it and we're going to, um, we're gonna high point it and we're going to pass lead it up the field so that it's gonna carry him up for at least four to five yards against man. Now the next other thing that you can try is you can try to free form. And what you wanna do when you free form it is you wanna pass lead it up and inside so that he it leads him upside or uh, up and outside. So pass lead it up and outside. You see how that leads him upfield. So you can do that as well. So if you wanna free form the flat route, you'll notice here that if I free form there, it's gonna bring him back. We're trying to get that again. We're trying to literally get five to seven yards before we get touched. So we wanna pass lead that upfield, get him upfield and get that quick five yards, okay? I know this is kind of a basic play, but it's really, really good, specifically against the spinner blitz. Um, if you're getting any kind of blitz, this is a really, really good route, and uh, you see how powerful this is, okay? Now the rest of the formation, the rest of the breakdown here, we're gonna show you how to use the other routes, but again, please don't sleep on this flat route. It's one of the best flat routes in the game, and it's gonna force your opponent to play some variation of zone, or play hard flats. Uh, you'll see here, if they're not playing hard flats, you can still throw this out here and be able to get some yardage, okay? So the rest of the setup is this. We're gonna see route our, our outside trips receiver. We're going to uh, in route our backside receiver and I like to block or wheel my running back. If you wanna wheel the running back, you can. If you are scared of pressure or don't, you know, worried about pressure, then block him, okay? Um, but this, we still have the same exact basic concept. Uh, you don't want to throw that ball late in the flat. You want to throw that, like, again, right on the cut. You don't want to throw it late in the flat, uh, like I just did. But literally just something like this or this is what I like to run. And so what you'll see here is this post is really the main read on the play. And it's the best route on the play. The post is going to consistently beat man. That is what we look for. It's consistency, what routes in the game consistently beat man. In my opinion, the best route to beat man this year is the post route from the slot receiver. So you want to have that in your arsenal. Um, you see just how consistent this is, and he doesn't have a route running ability or anything. Um, he's just a solid receiver, but doesn't even, I don't even think he hits all the route running thresholds. So there's that. The next thing that you have going for you is the C route on the right. Now this C route on the right is definitely not as good as the C route on the left. Um, it's not as consistent, but if you have a good route running receiver out there, which I actually don't in this example, he will get open pretty consistently. And a lot of times Mike Evans will as well. So you can just free form this outside. Um, if you're at all worried about, if you're at all worried about this, you could just flip the play, which I'll show that real quick. So if we run this to the left side and, and we normally like, if you run U-trips, you normally flip your formation anyway to the wide side of the field. But you'll see just how much better this is to the left. See that right there? So if you want to run this as like a right hash only concept, uh, you certainly can. 
but, you know, I still think you can run this concept just fine to this side of the field. And again, um, you know, you have that post wide open. So what happens is they have to use the post in man coverage. So if they are using your post route in man to man, then what you want to do is you want to hit your whatever you want to put on this backside receiver. You can actually, um, dragging him is not a bad idea, uh, as you can see right there. Now, the cover on Rob or coverage in general is really good because that yellow zone will guard these quick middle routes, but we're just going to imitate that as if he was, you know, they were doing something, some kind of coverage that looks like this. And then again, you know, not there. Now I got my drag coming backside that I can take for an easy five to six yards. And that's another reason why you might want to wheel your running back out of the backfield because if they do drop everybody out into coverage, then your running back wheel, there's a natural pick and rub in U-trips, and this wheel is really powerful um, at getting separation against man-to-man. -man. So really simple play. Uh, this is really good. Now, how does this fare against zone? It's not the best against zone, but it's not terrible either, right? Uh, so you have a high-low over the middle of the field, basically. You want to throw that post right on the cut if the post is open. If the yellows are coming down to converge onto the drag, then you want to throw your post route. Okay, It's fairly simple, uh, fairly effective, right? It, the flat route, if they see something like that, you can actually throw that flat. Uh, the flat is better against man than it is against zone. Uh, just kind of FYI. But... Um, don't sleep on this flat. Um, it's definitely there, okay? And, again, I think that, you know, highballing the flat might be a little better than freeforming it, especially against zone. So, again, if I highball this, you'll see right there. See how it's going to continue to carry him out there? So, you know, you'll probably have a chance to break that tackle and be in a decent position. The other thing you have against zone, as I've already said, is this high-low where you can throw that free – you can throw that post. Um, I should have thrown that a little earlier. Uh, but you put them in a position where they have to use her this post, and that's really the benefit. So, you know, again here, if they're not going to use her this, you can highball this and just ag it. I think highballs are really good this year. Most people just don't use them as much as they should. And, and you know, even if you're using them 80% of the time, you're probably not using highballs as much as you should. Um, so that just goes to show how good they are. Anyway, you're tied into the out. But then if they go user that, we can just check down right to this little baby in route and you see how good this is. So a real simple play that can beat man and zone out of U-trips. If you want to learn the rest of my uh, U-trips offense, make sure that you join my Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in the description below for just $10. You'll be able to get access to all of our eBooks and all the updates. Thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.